Hey guys, welcome back to the Broken Sword playthrough. Uh, last, we were still in Syria, last time out. Uh, we found out we needed to retrieve the club owner's uh, toilet brush that he'd just bought and was very upset at having stolen. And uh, I've come back to this game and this part of the game, I uh, wouldn't believe it, this was actually took me longer than the goat to figure out. I don't know why. But uh, we knew that the kebab man, he of the Kalkalash, had uh, has taken it. You can see it on his stall there. Very pixelated, but you can see him brushing the thing. Brushing his stall with it. And I couldn't understand why I couldn't click on it or anything like that. Plus, with the bugs that I'd had earlier on in the game, I thought maybe it's a bug. So I went around talking to everybody. That's why some of the dialogue you may have missed because I've. I recorded a video, but to be honest, it was very boring. It's me coming and arming about uh, what to do next. So I thought I'll leave that stuff out. There's no point uh, showing you that. Unless you guys are really, really bored and you want me to put it on, then I suppose I would do. Anyway, I found out that simply you got to look at him. Suddenly, I realized the horrific truth. The guy was basting the kebabs with a toilet brush. It may never have seen the inside of a toilet bowl, but it was still hardly appetizing. What the hell? And I don't think you can get it off him. Anyway, that's just a thing as well if you've never played the game. That's what you have to do. If you get stuck at the similar point. Hello again, sir. Hello. Kebab? Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. You can't talk to him about it. Well, but this was a bit that I remembered uh, from my fumbling ground last night. The young lad, Nijo, I don't think I, I don't know if it's on my other video. He's keen to get all of the red ball, juggling ball that we've got. He wants to get his hands on our ball, but um, he can't give you anything from the stall in return for it. But he... Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? But he sort of said maybe there'd be a service he could provide for us. So he's the guy who's going to help you get the mythical toilet brush. Look, this is going to sound a bit strange, but I need Arto's brush. What? The brush he bastes the kebabs with? Yes. Let me find some dirty postcards for you instead. Nijo, this is serious. Ardo stole that brush he's using from a friend, and I want to get it back. Perhaps I could help you, old chap. Uh, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe what? Perhaps what? I do not wish to see mercenaries, sir, but... Uh, I am a merchant, and merchants trade. Merchant? This isn't Sears and Roebuck here. Well, if you're going to be disagreeable... No, no, you're right. Uh, what would you like? I seem to recall that you have something that might alleviate my boredom. A globe of delight. A Rubicon spheroid of heavenly pleasure. You mean the ball, don't you? A tiny spherule of form that barely spans my hand, yet promises hours of amusement. If you mean the ball, why don't you just say so? Can I have the ball back, mister? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, go on then, you can have it. People say bad things about Americans, but you're okay in my book. What people? What bad things? Never mind that now. Remember the brush? Well, if we've done one thing to change one person's All mind. What to do with Arto is be polite. It lightens his day, makes it all worthwhile for him again. How can I be polite to the guy when I can't speak a word of Syrian? Arabic. That's what I meant. Simply memorize this phrase. il ach il kalb. Il Akel Kalb. Close enough. Now, 
go over to Arto and deliver those honeyed words even unto his delicate ear. He won't be able to do enough for you. Really? Really. Okay. Well, let's just check. What exactly does Il Akol Kalb mean? A polite but subtly complimentary greeting. He won't be able to do enough for you. So long, Nate. Okay, Doc. Well, with the way that he laughed at the end of that, I'm not too sure about this. And also, I've never heard anybody so eloquently describe a bouncy ball. Right, let's go and talk to Arto then. Come on, Arto Dito. Hello again, sir. Hello, kebab. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Right, we've heard your kebab spiel. Let's uh, break out the. Uh... Filthy, bad, bad. I kill you. Yep. We've been uh, pranked. I just feet do your thing. Oh, he's got a I still got a knife. There you go, we thought we were gonna get killed by a costume killer. And said it's a good bad vendor. Okay, so we've been chased off. Now, I think you gotta just go back in here now. Because there's nothing to do in the club, so it's pointless going up there. Hopefully, he's not waiting to skewer us. Oh, look at that, he's calmed down. And it looks like he's not got his brush on his table, so we can see there what the little guy's plan was. Use us as the decoy. Right. Let's talk to my boy Nijo. Hi Nijo. What the heck did you tell me to tell him? Patience, sir. Patience? Patience? I've been chased by a homicidal kebab seller, and you expect me to be patient? But consider, sir, while you were running from the irate Arto, the irate Arto wasn't using the brush. Hold on. Are you telling me that I've been used as a diversionary tactic? Your brush, sir. I can't believe that you put me on that kebab seller's death list for a toilet brush. The ends justify the means, sir. Yeah, but I noticed it wasn't your butt that was on the line, though. They also serve who only stand and wait, sir. Oh, spare me. Okay. Well, you put us in jeopardy, oh, but... it's okay. But we got a toilet brush out of it. Although, I'm not sure you'd want a toilet brush that's been marinated in kebab juice. Just think about it, it's going to make your toilet smell like kebabs. Now, let's go and deliver. The good news. Okay, shifty man, let me back in. Thank you. Oh, 
let's see what it says about this before we give it up. Up. It was a short handled brush. Right. I think we're probably best off talking to this guy. He seems to be the guy's Hello, vice. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough with the. Ah. Uh... Oh. Maybe this is best not said. What does il akal kalb mean? Who teach you that? Najo told me to say it to Arto. And Arto come after you with big knife, yes? Yeah, how did you know? I know Arto. You tell him in bad Arabic that his kebabs made from dog meat. <laughs> I said he was using dog food? No wonder he went crazy. No. Ultar not mean meat for dog. Ultar mean meat of dog. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So we'll talk to him about this. Look, I've got the toilet brush back. Hmm, you man of action, alrighty. Don't just wave at me. Give to manager. All oh, right, let's go talk to the manager then. Yep, George is a man of action. Hello again, friend. There wasn't much point in trying to launch an in-depth conversation when I couldn't speak Arabic and he couldn't speak. Period. Well, I did know a few words of Arabic, but doubted the wisdom of using them. Oh, yeah, so... I'm just, just going to have to give it to him like that, aren't I? Hello again, friend. There wasn't much... When I couldn't speak Arabic, and he couldn't speak. Period. Well, I did know a few words of Arabic, but doubted the wisdom of using them. Here's your brush, sir. It wasn't easy getting it back. Well, it looks up, eh? The manager took the brush from me, gave me the toilet keys as my reward, and stomped off. Hooray! What was all that about? Manager, he say, Bah, look at state of this. Need much cleaning and detergent before go around my... <laughs> Is that all that? Body language account for much, you know? Oh, yes, indeedy. Okay, doc. So we've got much shining keys of openingness. It was the key to the club toilet. Alright. So I might as well just click and click. Let's see what the toilet looks like. It's good to be back up and running in this game now. I've been away from it for a few days, so... Alright, so what I forgot, we've got a toilet stall. Hello? Anybody in there? No answer, so I gave it a push. Well, there's not going to be anyone in there, it's been locked. Unless they've been in there for the last few and days. Had strange toilets. Yeah. This game is going very slowly. The design of the toilet was a little different from what I was used to. But a toilet chain is a toilet chain all over the world. Can we take that? No. We'll steal that. I hadn't drunk anything since the morning, and I didn't need to use it. Okay, look, so we've now got a toilet chain. It was the short length of chain I'd taken from the toilet at the Club Alamut. Well, I suppose if we come across the... the um, Plus, if we come across the killer, we've got like a nunchuck kind of thing. Half a one. Clean, but there didn't seem to be a plug. The sink was. Clean. The mirror was as clean as anything else in there. Look at yourself. Oh, what's this thing? It was a roller towel dispenser.
Ooh, Roly. Right, there must be there's some way of getting into there. I'll just show this. Ah, it worked. Oh yeah. So we've took that. So now we've got a towel. It was a length of coarse grey toweling from the toilet at the Club Alamut. And I think that's pretty much it from the toilet, as I recall. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to get uh, from in here. So that's it, I think. And that's what all the fuss was about. We went on a dangerous mission for a toilet brush to get a uh, toilet handle, flush handle, and a towel. That reminds me of my toilet in uh, the second toilet in my house that I lived at home that had a chain pull. Which you used to pull it and uh, you could go to the toilet and have a shower at the same time because the water didn't come over on top of your head. Because we had an overhead uh, tank. Okay, duck. So we've done that, and I recall you needing uh, some items from the shelves. Um, On need your stand so that was something that I was messing around with on the, the earlier video which is a video I haven't posted up on YouTube that I said uh, I'd spent 90 minutes fumbling around that's where sometimes memories of games that can throw you off sometimes because I, I remember uh, I think you've got to I can't remember if you've got to I know you're the cat so the cat goes up there, and then you press the buzzer, the man comes out, he knocks the ball away, and it knocks that statue off the shelf, uh, from what I recall. And the statue is a key in uh, getting money out of the American tourists. Anywho, I'm just looking at the time, and I'm thinking that's probably for the next video. That'll be my plan of action for the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.